Hey, Jonathan, um, uh, first of all, how good did it feel uh, to be out there uh, playing again? And, and, you know, kind of an up and down defense for the young, for day for the young defense. But uh, to start the second half, you, you got them off the field twice to give the offense a chance to score and get ahead. And then, of course, that fourth down stop in the fourth quarter. So when you need to do it, it's, you guys stepped up and made the play. Uh, I mean, it felt great to be back out there today with my guys. Um, uh, today was a very sloppy performance on the defense's part. Um, we got to go out and execute a way lot more than we did. We gave up a few big plays, and you know, if you give up big plays in this league, that's kind of how you get beat. Uh, you know, we was fortunate enough to come away with the dub today, but you know, overall, you know, we did what we needed to do to get the, to get the win. What was the difference between the first half and second half, you think? Um, just kind of, you know, getting the jitters out. Uh, you know, it was kind of very different, you know, playing without fans. So, you know, trying to get adjusted to that, you know, we came out kind of slow. Uh, second half, we had a little bit more momentum. That's what, you know, we got the two, three and outs. But, uh, you know, we can't have that moving forward. You know, we got to come out fast and finish strong. Hey, John, we thought that you guys were pretty emotional after getting that, that last stop. What went into that? I mean, just, you know, it's an emotional game. I mean, you know, we fought hard all game. You know, we weren't leaving here without this W. So, you know, I told the defense before we went out there, you know, this game is on us. we got to step up and, you know, get this win because, you know, we were the ones who kind of gave up the lead, you know, giving up those two touchdowns back to back in the third in the third quarter. So, you know. Jonathan, it was uh, for most of the day uh, tough to get uh, pressure on Teddy. Uh, what did that do to the back end? And uh, what do you have to do in future? You can play some really good quarterbacks coming up to get more pressure on you. On the um, I don't think it was, a, you know, more so we didn't get pressure. I mean, we got pressure, you know, Teddy just got away a few times. You know, the Russian coverage kind of works together. So, you know, without them and without us, you know, none of it works together at all. So, you know, we got to do a better job in coverage. And, you know, we got to do a better job up front. You know, we got to um, set the fronts and pressures and stuff. And we put our hands on them, we got to get home. That's all it is. Jonathan, obviously you guys had some time to think about that fourth down play when they were, you know, thinking about what they were going to do. What was, what were you guys talking about uh, there? And Alert, hard the count. Just alert the hard count, you know, double cadence, you know, with it being four for one, because, you know, if they jump off, you know, five yards back, we jump, it's five yards forward, it's automatic first down. So, you know, just watch the ball, you know, D-line, stay low, get off, get off the ball, and, you know, just eyes on your man, play your, do your job. You know, you only get one pay check, so you do your job. That's all we was talking about, do your job. You know, Jonathan, they, I think almost everybody figured they were going to go to Christian McCaffrey on that play on fourth and one, but they didn't, and you guys weren't surprised, did you? Were you, how, how were you ready for the fullback run? I mean, like I said, you know, it wasn't, you know, any tricks and gimmicks. You know, we didn't know what they were going to run. You know, this is a first time offense. You know, we had to watch, you know, this, we, we, it was really discombobulated how we had to watch film, you know, with this new OC and everything. But, you know, we've done a good job. So this game was not about the Carolina Panthers. It was simply about the Las Vegas Raiders. So we had to go out there and do what we had to do. And that's what we did. And that's how we got the dub. Do you describe the hit on McCaffrey? Can you describe the hit on McCaffrey and how special it was to go against him back and forth? How you guys had a little back and forth going? It seemed like it was pretty fun out there. Um, I really didn't feed into it. I was only worried about going out there, executing, you know, taking it one snap at a time. You know, I don't feed into stuff like that. Hey, Jonathan, you mentioned uh, it, it took a little bit of an adjustment to playing without fans. What, what, what were the biggest takeaways? What, what, what was it like out there uh, in kind of silence? I mean, basically, you know, we got to bring our own, in, our own energy. That's all it is, you know. You don't have the fans to feed off of, you know, the highs and the lows. So, you know, we have to be our own fans. And, you know, we have to do a better job next week. You know, we got the Saints coming to us. So, you know, we just have to bring the energy, you know, the entire four quarters. Last question. Yeah. Jonathan, lastly, uh, your hat says Las Vegas. It was the first game. I mean, there's no one here, but John talked about it. Can you just talk about being in the first game for Las Vegas Raiders and uh, getting the people uh, in Las Vegas a win? I mean, you know, we moved to Vegas, you know, coming from Oakland. You know, we miss those guys. You know, Raider Nation is forever, but, you know, we have a new home in Las Vegas, so, and it feels amazing to get the first one as a Las Vegas Raider. Go Raiders. I see you guys.